You're gonna have to kind of talk loud, but don't don't go real fast. Sometimes you say, "Hey guys, this is Daniel in Houston from Arsenal Homestead." Okay, you gotta talk talk right, talk normal. Okay. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I just got a few things I want to talk to you guys about. First off is t-shirts, the Arms Family Homestead t-shirts. Uh, I've started getting a few more questions about those people wanting to buy them. Uh, the company I use is called Bonfire. Typically you have to do like a two-week campaign and then you have a minimum number of shirts to sell. Well, they've changed their um, structure up. You still have to do the campaign, but there's no minimum number. So, Anybody that wants an Arms Family Homestead t-shirt like this, we'll put a couple different colors on there. Oh yeah. Check out the link in the description box down below and get yourself a t-shirt. They're awesome shirts. I really like them. There's a little plug for myself there. A um, couple things I want to talk about. Let me get up here to the truck. Got, some, got something exciting in the mail today. I got a feeling this is probably a late birthday present for Houston. Um, I went to the post office box today, checked the mail, and there is a huge package. Look at there. See that big box? But uh, look at it. It's, it's, some, it's something's different about it. You see the writing? I mean, it's just not normal, is it? Look at this. It's in a foreign language. Houston. I believe, and now I'm not sure yet because we haven't opened it, but I'm guessing Houston got a late birthday present from Korea. Now, unfortunately, Houston's not here right now. It's just me. I'm home alone. Got off work. It's kind of starting to get dark, and the wife and kids are all at a football scrimmage. I didn't get to go today. No big deal. It's just what it is. But we've got a package unboxing for Houston from Korea in a day or two, so stick around for that. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was this, cats, this cast iron Dutch oven that you guys saw me restore a couple videos back. If you missed that one, I'll leave a link right there. This thing was terribly, terribly rusted, and we've got it all restored and in, a, in great shape. Now, I, in that video, I talked about how this lid didn't seem like the right lid. I wasn't sure what it was, and I said we'd probably end up using it as a griddle. Well, as it turns out, now this isn't something I didn't know. I already knew this, but a lot of you guys are a lot smarter than I am, especially when it comes to something like antique cast iron. And I posted that video talking about how proud I was of my little restoration project on my free Dutch oven with a lid that didn't fit. Well, just so happens, I talked about the writing that was on the inside of this thing it says Wagner Sydney 12A, and it's like a real smooth top. Well, I had several people tell me, and I'm glad you did because I appreciate it. I, I said when I went into this, I'm not an expert on cast iron, but several people said, hey, buddy, that is not a lid. That is a Wagner griddle, a bailed edge. That's what this is on it, a bailed edge griddle, and it's worth some money. So I pulled it up, did a little research. I don't know if you guys can see that on there or not eBay, come on camera. On eBay, one just like this right now is a hundred and fifty-nine dollars for for this. I'm not even talking about the pot. I'm just talking about the cast iron griddle. So I'm not gonna sell it. I want to hang on to it. This is a really cool little pancake griddle that I think we could use in some outdoor cooking videos, cook some pancakes or things on. And I kind of feel guilty because it was freebie and it was all rusted out. A friend gave it to me. I feel like if I was going to sell it, I would probably end up giving it back to them and letting them decide what they wanted to do with it because she just thought it was trash and, and gave it away. So how about that? Guys, I really appreciate your help. If there's anything on this channel that I hope you get from me, and that is I'm not an expert in a lot of things. I'm just a goofy redneck guy that gets out here and tries to show you what I do and how I do it. And some of you people are way smarter than I am, and I appreciate it. So thank you very much. I got a question for you. Have you ever seen a trailer load of goats? Well, I've got a trailer load of goats here. Hey, where are you going? So they've moved on to brush cutting. 
or lounging on the brush cutter. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I posted a video a day or so ago. Um, it's a new Arms Family Homestead channel trailer. And I told you guys about that video back when we shot it, when, when we did our shoot with Final Descent Outdoors for our episode of Arms Family Homestead that's gonna air on Final Descent, all that stuff. Anyways, new channel trailer's up, but Adam, the, a good friend of mine that, that created that for me, I, I didn't do the editing on that one. You can tell he is way better at it than I am. So Adam also sent a gag reel, kind of just like, you know, blooper reel. And it is so funny. Houston is so, so funny. He's such a cool kid. And uh, I'll show you guys that gag reel right now. You're gonna have to kind of talk loud, but don't don't go real fast. Sometimes you say, hey guys, this is Daniel and Houston from our same homestead. Okay, you gotta talk, talk right, talk normal, okay? Say, so what's up guys? This is Daniel and Houston from Arms Family Homestead. In this video is what our channel is all about. You're still going a little fast. Okay, but I'm just trying to get you to understand. So what's up guys? This is Daniel and Houston from Arms Family Homestead. And this is all about what our channel is today. So as Houston said, I'm Daniel. This is Arms Family Homestead. And that's, and that's not what I went to say. So, and this video is what our channel is all about. So what's up guys? This is Daniel and Houston from Arms Family Homestead. And this is what all of our channel is all about. You're getting close. We have goats here because they keep the brush under control, keep the trees trimmed up, the weeds under control. They do a lot of work for us uh, as far as pasture management and brush control here. Yeah. In this video, we're, this is all about. In this video. This is all about. Listen. In this video, it's all about. In this video. In quit reaching over there for that. <laughs> so what, what do I say? In this video, it's all about. I just can't say. You're struggling right now, buddy. So what's up guys? This is Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead. And today this is what our channel is about and we're doing some stuff. <laughs> YouTubing with a five year old. So I hope you enjoyed that little gag reel. Houston, as I said, he's a funny kid. You know that. That's why so many of you come to this channel and stick around is because of Houston and all of his little cuteness. But uh, anyways, the last thing I wanted to talk about is something I haven't done in quite a while on this channel. And I used to do it all the time, but I, I always enjoy doing shout outs for smaller channels because I had so many people help me along the way. So many of you fellow YouTubers that, that gave me some help in building my channel along the way. So I've always felt like it's kind of my responsibility to kind of pay back, to do a little payback and, and repay the debt. And so when I come across a cool little channel that, that I really enjoy, I try to share it with you guys. And there's one that I've been watching like every day lately. They don't have a ton of videos, um, but it's a young couple and I don't think they have any kids, just graduating college. They're just getting their channel started, but it's really actually taken off very fast. And their channel is called Cole and Jay. A lot of you have probably already watched them. They're a young couple that just loves to get out in the woods, get out on the lake, and do outdoor activities together. But their videos are so much fun. So I'm gonna roll a little footage of their channel. And if you enjoy what you see, I'll leave a link in the description box down below and a card up here and you guys go check them out. Go subscribe to their channel, watch a few of their videos and tell them Daniel from Arms Family Homestead sent you because I think they're really awesome and I think a lot of you people, a lot of my subscribers would enjoy their channel too. Hey y'all, <laughs> what's going on? It's another day on the channel. Another adventure. And Jessica and I have made our way to the bait shop. Watch, I can feed this guy right out of my hand. What up, Jay? What up? What's going on? We're at the Buffalo River. Heck yeah, check out this backdrop behind us. We're at Buffalo Point. The Buffalo National River is one of the most beautiful, 
so beautiful. Undammed rivers in the nation. Beautiful destination for lots of warm Arkansans in the summertime to beat the heat. And Justin, it's really, really hot today. It's a really hot day. So today. I'm looking forward to getting in that water. It's beautiful. It's crystal clear just about. It's kind of got that good green color. We're about to make our way back to the other side, to the rock wall. We'll bring you along with us. We got the GoPros. We're going to go underwater, see some fish. Catch some fish. <laughs> Hopefully catch some big old fish. And we will see you underwater. Y'all ready? She's ready. I'm ready too. See, I told you they were pretty cool. Aren't they awesome? Just a, an awesome young couple just, just loving life. Anyways, be sure to go check them out at their channel and tell them Daniel from Arms Family Homestead sent you over there. And uh, that's all I've got for today, guys. I'm just going to try to get my chores done. It may rain a little bit this evening, so got to get a few things done around here. It's humid as crazy. I mean, the humidity is just running off my face. But anyway, it blew up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.